What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, divos? Back for another video. What's up? What's up? I hope you guys are having an amazing day. We're going to jump right into this, but not before I send out a special shout out. Well, basically a thank you and a shout out because a girl needed some new clothes, okay? I love t-shirts. I love graphic tees. I don't be really trying to be too fancy for a video. Muffin is my lover's April, whatever you want to call me. I'm just trying to be me because the bottom half of me has either sweatpants on, some shorts, or some leggings. JP Craft and Company hooked a girl up with some t-shirts, some graphic tees. They specialize in like the late 80s, late 90s type of genre like music and TV shows and movies. You know what I'm saying? And a girl loved graphic tees, especially if they dope, funky, fresh. My understanding, like April's understanding, like me, myself, Muffin, told April, that this has to be MC Light, Salt, and Pepper. So if you guys are not familiar with MC Light, Salt, and Pepper, then y'all is mad young. Google that or YouTube it while you on here now. Plus, you can use my discount code in the description box below to save on some coins. A girl loves t-shirts like for real I, I live in a t-shirt anyway you guys let's get into this video this one right here is another 13 by 6 lace frontal this is the swiss hd lace that will melt honey melt but this one is by Wig Encounters. I worked with them on several, several, several videos. Got this back in December. So when you receive your box from Wig Encounters, or your package rather, it will come in their black standard box. You also receive one of their sleeves, which states the hair is 20 inches, 150% density, Indian virgin hair, and it's an HD Swiss lace. You also receive some amenity gifts, which I have here is a kind of like a pouch bag. Inside of it was in a black elastic band, which you can sew onto your unit if you choose to. Also came with two clips and a pair of tweezers, so that way you can go ahead and pluck your unit. A rat tail comb, which is plastic, so that way you can style and adhere your unit. And a wig cap to just protect your scalp and hair from your unit. So fresh out the box, the unit looks like this. It is a Swiss HD lace and you will need to bleach the knots prior to wearing it. It is 20 inches, 150% density, and it is a wavy unit. The units at Wig Encounters are really affordable. You'll see a variety of styles along with different types of lace front wigs. So make sure you check out Wig Encounters. With that being said, the wig has already been bleached by moi, and it also has been plucked by moi. You know, I had to pluck the hairline a little bit, and then I just went ahead and rewashed it out after I thinned the hairline out because it's curly, and you know, once you're plucking and brushing, you do brush out the texture. So I went ahead and rewashed it, co-washed it, and just allowed it to sit there and dry. It is 100% Indian Remy, Virgin Remy Indian hair, and it is 20 inches. And I think it's on sale right now. And there's also a coupon code that I'll post down below for you guys. But it comes with the standard. It has the combs in, well, it has the combs in the cap, which are in the front or the nape or the t Oh my God, I'm losing my mind. Okay, it has the combs right here by the temples. And there's also one right here, which I like now. I used to didn't, but I do. And there's also a comb and an adjustable strap in the neck. Elastic band, which you can definitely remove if you don't like these. You can also unhook them. So if you like them tighter, you can definitely do so right here. I've worked with wig encounters for quite a while. And they have actually really improved. Everybody improves over time. At least I would hope you would. It's 13 by 6. You get plenty inches of parting. And then it's just the standard track sewn on the back portion. So she's pretty long. She's decent. She's 20 inches. I don't really need it that long. And, you know, I can't remember the density, but I'll definitely post it all below. So we're going to get right into this video. I think so. Oh, girl, I be rhyming. Did y'all know that I was a rapper in my past life? Said hip hop, I hit it to the hip, to the hip, hip hop. You don't stop the rock to the bang, bang, boogie, say up, jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie, the beat have a new blow dryer. Well, it's not new. It's I've had it already. I just didn't really like using it because the nozzle's so long. But the one that I've always used started smoking on a video prior to this. So we Okay, you guys, so you already know the first step, and that is putting the wig on. So I'm going to just situate the elastic bands 
and that I put in it and uh, the combs in the unit. So first of all, let me tell you guys, I was shocked, okay? Because all I did was bleach it and stuff. I did not know how it looked on a girl. So you see, I'm happy. Like seriously, that lace is bomb as hell, okay? I really didn't know how it was going to look on me. Like I said, I just bleached it and pre-plucked it, purple shampooed it, and just put it to the side and went on to the next wig that I had to get prepared for. So this was the first time for me trying to wig on, and I must say, I am impressed, wig encounters. Okay. Make sure you guys have some really good styling tools. Like, clips are part of the styling tool process because if you don't have none, girl, you will be in distress. So you want to get out your comb, um, not your comb, well you do need a comb for this, but you want to get out your scissors or whatever you're going to cut this lace with and get to cutting. Of course, yes, I did cut some of the hair off at the hairline, but I'm not really too concerned because I didn't want the hairline too far down, so I was prepared already to cut that off. You know, I had already pre-plucked and pre-tweezed this hairline, so some of the little hairs that were straying on, I didn't really need them, so no worries. And I'm just fixing it up now because I didn't want a blunt cut in the front. You know, I'm just cutting little curves and dips into where the hair starts. So that's another reason why I wasn't too concerned about the little pieces of hair that I did remove. But you don't want like a blunt straight cut across because it will look like a wig. You want to try to cut like, see how I'm cutting in between the hairs and dips and curves, you know. Yeah, there's a piece of hair on that lace, but no big deal, girl. You don't need all of it. I mean, I mean, that's up to you, but this is just how I do it. Now I'm gonna make sure that the wig fits properly, which it doesn't. As you guys see, there is some lace that is hanging over my earlobe. So I'm just going to take my rat tail comb and part above my ear in a curved motion because my ear is curved at the top. And I'm just gonna cut off that excess lace. You wanna cut off as much as you can because that way your wig will lay flat and it will be comfortable. Now when I say as much as you can, I mean as much as you need to, like don't just get carried away cut as much as you need to what's recommended for your head as you see me doing here I'm cutting off the excess lace and now girl I'm like to make me some baby hairs or sideburn hairs or whatever you want to call them listen I'm just gonna make them this is optional but I also do this too because I need to adhere the wig so I'm gonna be using some hairspray so I do like to part all across the front so that way when I do apply my hairspray I'm able to spray it in between the parts But girl, look at this hair. Like, where's the lace at? This, 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 this is a bomb lace wig. I'm seriously impressed. So now I'm just spraying a little bit of that bedhead hairspray onto my skin. And then I'm going to spray some onto the lace underneath. And then I'm also going to be just pulling it down. And then I'm going to spray just a little bit on between, in between those parts. Girl, listen, the wig is so nice. I want it to hold down for days. Okay. Now, as you guys see, I got myself another blow dryer here, which I've had actually for a minute. Please tell me why, as I was doing a video, video tutorial, my OG goody, 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 good, good, good blow dryer started smoking on camera. The motor went, girl. So you guys will see that video soon, you know. But make sure you get the corners by your ear when you're adhering your wig, because sometimes we forget that, and it's very important to make sure that's down too, so that way, you know, nobody sees that it's lifting. And just continue to adhere it. I like to use hairspray because it's a very easy cleanup. I'm not with all the glue. You know, I have tried the glue plenty of times and I'm gonna be honest and tell you, I'm not with it. It's very messy. And to me, it's like the next day after you apply the wig and you wake up, it seems like the glue, the glue gets really gooey and all the hairs start attaching to it. And I'm really not up for that look, so. You know, I just prefer hairspray. I don't really want the wig tacked down for too long. Three to four days is enough time for me, and this is what the hairspray will give you, that type of hold. It's like a few days wear. After that, girl, I got to, you know, moisturize my scalp and stuff, so I don't really like it for too long, but I, I just don't like the glue, and I don't like the gels either to adhere a wig. Now, I do take some of my hairspray, and I do put it on the tip of my comb, and it works because I don't want a huge spritz of hairspray in one certain area. I just spray a little bit on the comb tail and then I just apply that to the wig. And it works, girl, it works. And like I'm showing you here, 
Using hairspray is a super easy cleanup and it will, you know, it will remove easily. Along with that, you can use a baby wipe and you can just wipe off your makeup too while you're in the midst of it. So here I go again as normal, just cutting these down. This time I'm cutting them even shorter than normal. Girl, you got to try out new things. I hate to go back and forth cutting baby hairs and stuff. So, you know, not going to use them all. I'm just trying to see how they look. So that's why I'm using my brow trimmer just to cut them down. And also because I don't want a blunt cut. So using a brow trimmer is really cool. Now I'm going to be using my Dollar Tree Styling Mousse. Girl, let me tell y'all, if y'all sleeping on the Dollar Tree, don't. Definitely get that pan of, can of Salon Selectors because it's been around for a while. My mother used to use it when I was a little kid. This stuff works great. It does not lift your wig up after you've applied it, which is just amazing. Some of the Got To Be Styling Mousses that I've used in the past have done that, but I've always used the Salon Selectors and that's the reason why I went back to it because for one, it's only a dollar and it works really good. And girl, it does not lift up your lace. So I just take it and I just brush the hairs back. As you see, I'm not really trying to make any style or any baby hairs. The little swoops on the side of my head are not actual baby hairs. It's just the way that I'm brushing the hairline down. So that way it's not like blunt straight across hairline. These are not actual baby hairs. I'm just brushing it in kind of like a swoopage kind of, you know, look girl, I'm trying to be fancy, okay? But this is how I do the front. I really don't like too many baby hairs, definitely in the front. So I try to like swirl them, brush them with a curved motion so that way they don't look unnatural. But using the styling mousse works a lot. Or you can also use like the lot of body, um, uh, what do you call it, lot of body setting lotion or setting mousse. I like that stuff too. No, I try to get a little fancy in the front here, but girl, this lace wig is bomb as hell. I don't know what to say, but I'm saying wig encounters, you did a really good job on this wig. I was very impressed. You know, they have come a long way. I've worked with them for many years and just to be able to see a company evolve and just do a lot better is great. You know, I think we all should do a lot better in general, but I'm really impressed with this wig. Girl, let me tell you, I had this wig on. I did this video on Friday and I wore the wig Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. That wig was tagged down and I wasn't going, it wasn't going nowhere, okay? But look at it, it's gorgeous, hunties. Hello. I love the curls in it or the waves in it. The density is great. The parting, it's a 13 by six, so you get six inches of deep parting. Plenty of parting. And I'm so undecided, so I'm gonna just figure out what side I want my part on. Put on this little uh, head wrap so that way I could slay my baby hairs, I think, right? And just take some more of that styling mousse, put it in the, between the part where I finally want it to be. Take the nozzle of my too big blow dryer, I don't like this blow dryer at all, and just press down the part. And then I'm gonna take my water, which has some of Carol's daughter leave-in hair conditioner milk. I do have a few drops of that in there, and I'm just going to get the curls to popping back. And I'm saying, y'all, these curls are sickening. Look at the density in the hair. I am so impressed with the hairline. Like, okay, wig encounters. Mm, came out really, really cute, y'all. All right, you guys, I'm going to make this real quick because I got to go get Mumsy from school. But you know what it do. This by far is the best lace front wig I've ever had from Wig Encounters. No pun intended, no disrespect, no bashing, but listen, this HD Swiss lace has melted and burnt up. really really nice now definitely you're gonna have to bleach the knots but once you're done 
girl, sis, you're going to be looking so cute, okay? I I'm going to give it to them. This is really some pretty hair. This lace is bomb. It's affordable. You have a discount code. I do believe it's on sale. There are so many different companies that are doing this HD Swiss lace. So you have to find the one that's budget-friendly and exactly what you want. And also, you have to make sure that it is real HD lace versus just normal lace. Girl, this is cute. Cute. So I will leave all the information down below for wig encounters. On that note, you guys already know I got to go. Won't be no other video, but I gotta go get Mumsy from school. I hope you guys enjoy your week. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Share this video with everybody that you know, everybody that you like, your mama, your daddy, your cousin, your brother, your sister, your auntie, your uncle, your co-workers, your boss, your husband, your boyfriend, your ex-boyfriend, your ex-con, your friend, your non-friend, your friend, somebody, you know, your I don't know. I don't care. Just share the video. So on that note, I love you guys. Stay diva and delicious, and I'll be back in a soon-to-come video. This hair is really cute though. Hello. I'm saying.